seeing the Bayo, though, because I really love seeing Lima's Bayo. Mm -hmm. I was worried because at the last tournament, uh, that pre-tournament, yeah, I feel like he was going all ZSS. But, uh, I mean, his other characters are sick, but his Bayo is what I love watching. Right. His conversion game is amazing, and his neutral is not to be slept on either. Exactly. He is one of the upcoming Bayos. And he's just setting him up to the sky, not yeah. giving MJG any time to breathe whatsoever. Okay, starting off a really patient pressure from MJG. But he wasn't able to get much started. Lima was able to deal with all of it, and now 83% on MJG. Like, now it's gotten to the point to where you don't even have to worry about, like, dying off the top at an early percent anymore. It's like... You have to you, die. Yeah. <laughs> You're worried like about since, dying in general. Yeah, they're like, oh, they found out how to just use back air as a very strong option to kill. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Does find the conversion. Does take the stock. Now, we saw earlier in the day, uh, I believe it was Flobo versus Muse. Muse was able to consistently get out of those which which was combos. Yeah, with a broken thumb, by yeah. the way. Muse has a broken thumb? He does, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. The, he not, was SDIing like a madman. Okay, not on that hand, okay. thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to give him too much credit. Yeah. <laughs> but still, it's pretty amazing. So uh, maybe MJG could work on that. Ooh, I know he has dangerous. It. You don't want to get caught on the platform, but nice SDI hauling out of that up B combo. I mean, MGJ played Brawl. He knows how to SDI. He just <laughs> needs to figure out what to do in these specific circumstances. Sometimes against Lima, though, it doesn't even matter. No. His conversions are so good. Wow, that F smash definitely could have taken that stock. Oh? Ooh, going deep. That's one of the things that I love about Bayonetta, that her edge guarding game is so complex and it's so just... It's great, and it's something that a lot of characters in this game don't really have. Yeah. You don't get to see a lot, like compared to other games like Melee. Ooh, and that's a classic Lima. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the Lima, is uh, just dying of your own accord. <laughs> I don't think he's too concerned. He's sitting really pretty right now. Yeah. But this is the opportunity for MJG to just strike. We're definitely at these percents. Yep. Yeah, where down tilt to up air is either going to kill or he's going to catch your air dodge with a witch twist afterwards into a, just a disgusting frame trap that could just kill yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you made him work a little bit harder, but wow. Mm. Just one of those things where it's like, MJG is going to have to try to find space. Mm -hmm. Play something like Smashville, like a confined stage like that. We could be seeing yep. Villager. Mm. Nope. Going back to Toon Link. Toon Link a lot more mobile than Villager. Yeah. Uh, allows him to just kind of like try to weave in and out. While it takes a little bit more setup to like try to get his projectiles out compared to Villager. And like I definitely like this matchup a little bit better where he's able to actually find kill confirms off of Bomb and sometimes That's Boomerang. Uh, where he doesn't have to commit too hard. Uh, with, with Villager, you got to find something. Yep. Now, Town and City, a very large stage. It's going to allow him to just kind of like sit back, set up as many projectiles as he can. But Lima is still finding his way in. And it's going to be dangerous because of the lower ceiling. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we already saw some decently early kills in the last game. Uh, it can get ridiculous. Well, and that's Big. something that you also have to be careful while throwing out a projectile, is that witch time, if you're too close to it, you will get witch time. Right, you can, for example, Lima could even uh, witch time the boomerang on the way back mm -hmm. and catch MG on, MGG unaware. There we go, witch time coming into play. Just gonna go yep. for up tilt, up smash to get some good damage. Tries to witch twist to get a bigger conversion, but great SDI from MJG. Looks like game one, he was just sleeping a little bit. Now he's woken up. Yep. This man is woken. He is trying to take on this bail. And they're trying to play the incremental game with the down tilt guns. Mm -hmm. Not going to be trying to pierce this zone because he knows that's exactly what MJG is looking for. He's just waiting. He's waiting. He's wanting to like just kind of react to whatever. If Lima accidentally overextends. However, it's really hard to get a Bayonetta to, like, in a bad position, and I haven't seen that move since 1.15, uh, oh. and ooh, wow. such a wonderful spike! Stage spike right there. Mm -hmm. MJG ends up taking that first stock in this game, but back air, definitely going to strike right back. All right. MJG sitting super patient, doesn't want to overcommit. He knows the threat of which time is looming. Sit and chill, like Lima come to him, but 
how that these players are playing really patient. This is absolutely how you have to play the Bayo matchup. And even Toon Link makes it really rough. You don't want to overextend against those uh, over against against all of the uh, projectiles. It definitely cuts off a lot of your options for movement. Oh, Lima, that was pretty sick. Oh, has to go for the witch time. Yep, that's it. I feel like he could have just gone for a back air. Yeah, no, he's wanting to style right yeah, now. Yeah, Lima just wants to send a message. Is that situation with no resources? No double jump, just an upbeat. Yeah, no, I figured like it was just going to go for like the easy kill, but nah. Yeah. That's not the bayonet away. That's not Lima. Lima wants to make you feel bad sometimes. I mean, isn't that the true reason why people play bayonetta? Just a style. Oof. Like he's just standing there. Menacingly. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't care. He knows that he has the lead. He knows that uh, MJG can't overextend and get too aggressive because he'll get punished for it. He's just playing at his own leisure. You gotta be careful though, because if you get F smash right now, you're dead. That is true. This is not a leisurely paced kind of a situation. Overextend or just autopilot or defensive option and MJG could absolutely take this. Yep. Even he's just taking the same approach, just sitting back here, just kind of camping out using these platforms. They'll go away soon, however, but even then, like, he'll just sit on the edge of the stage and wait for MJG to come back to him. At least he got the balloon. Nima's a sportsman. He knows that the balloon is the most important thing about this game. Oh, exactly. Like, if you're camping and you don't take the balloon, like, it doesn't count. Yeah. No matter what the game says at the end, you didn't actually win. Again, flats are back. These ones not quite as potent of a camping tool, but right, they're not as high, and they just <laughs> allow they allow Toon Link to just kind of like still pressure with a full hop mm -hmm. with any projectile that he wants. Yeah, but Lima's still using it to great effect. Only a minute thirty left on the clock. Wow, using his invincibility to let the bomb blow up. Utilizing the giant hitbox on that witch twist to just kind of knock out the projectile of that boomerang. Just about anything eats it up. And ooh, that almost could have been bad for him. The bat within just setting him in an unfortunate position, but then immediately cutting back back to the ledge. Got to be really careful about this overextension. A minute left on the clock. He's going to try to pressure. Now, MJG needs to be careful whenever he's, like, near the ledge, just because I'm pretty sure, like, we're almost to the point to where Ethereal will start to kill. Oh, yeah, especially with the just moderate rage on Bayo. A few Town pummels, and Town and City. We're just awaiting. Waiting for either a strong kill or a timer. One of the two. Just immense patience. This is a mental game. That's, there we that's go. gonna be it. Punishes the air dodge with the witch with the uh, up air after the witch twist. Only 20 seconds left on the clock. Yep, and that and will was able be to pull it. it through. Yep. Just pull it through. 